All right, pictures of the White House right now on a beautiful April evening here in Washington. President Biden's poll numbers are improving ever so slightly. It's been a rough week uh, for the White House, especially on Israel. We'll get to that in a minute. They're still nowhere near in terms of poll numbers where Democrats want them to be. There was one president, the first Democratic president to win re-election since FDR, first elected Democrat. That was Bill Clinton in 1996. Stung by big losses in the midterms, Clinton tacked to the right, the hard right. Here were some of his ads. President Clinton increased border patrols 40% to catch illegal immigrants. Record number of deportations. No welfare for illegal aliens. Anti-drug programs for schools. Head Start to give young people a chance. 100,000 police to patrol our streets. Strict time limits on welfare benefits. Teach values in our schools. No work, no welfare. Moving right worked. Clinton won in a landslide. It was a historic win. Delivered the largest win for Democrats since Lyndon Johnson in 1964. As I said, the first Democrat to be reelected, well, since FDR. By every standard, though, Clinton would be considered a right-wing kook today. On some issues, he would be to the right of Donald Trump. Tax cuts for families and on capital gains, death penalties for drug kingpins, welfare-to-work programs, mandatory school uniforms. Imagine if somebody said that today. Missile strikes against bin Laden, closing the border, and he was the guy who signed a ban on gay marriage. Hank Sheinkoff is here, political strategist whose client list included Bill Clinton. It is good to see you, Hank. Why don't you think Joe Biden, in an election year, uh, on any of these issues is tacking to the center? It's a different Democratic Party than it was in 1995 and 1996 when the Clinton campaign really went into high gear in his re-election effort, number one. Number two, uh, he's got to contend with a Congress that is uh, a House that's likely to become Democratic, uh, that is much more difficult than the, than the Republicans in many ways that uh, Bill Clinton had to deal with. Bill Clinton was a Southerner. They were led by Southerners. They knew how to relate to one another, and that's where a lot of the resentment came from. It's a very different world. And the other problem is Democrats themselves. Bill Clinton understood that you fight a fight. The Democrats understand that you talk a fight today. That's not how you win campaigns. You think about sort of these key issues, right? Um, Israel, climate change, immigration, crime, a number of the ones that, that Bill Clinton ran on. Um, would the Democratic Party right now allow Joe Biden to tack to the center on any of those? He would be beaten up on a regular basis by representatives of the different constituent groups that the Democrats think they represent. The difference here is that the Republicans are not so much a party, but a coalition of people who think the same in states of a reconstructed confederacy. The Democrats are a party that doesn't think the same about anything with a group of constituents that agree about nothing except they don't like the Republicans. That's not a way to build an operation that has long-term value. All right, so you think about, though, you said the Reconstructed Confederacy, but if you think really about the swing states, um, mm -hmm. Michigan, Pennsylvania, <laughs> Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin were not uh, the Reconstructed Confederacy, and those are all three swing states where, in the averages, Donald Trump yeah. is doing very well. But, they, but except for Pennsylvania, where you had a significant Civil War battle, those have really never been swing states. The places I'm talking about are the border states. The problem here for uh, going backwards, the problem for Biden is not so much that they're swing states, is that they were the bastions of blue-collar America that have today become places where Donald Trump is appealing in many cases because he represents the people who are angry that that blue-collar America not only doesn't exist, but it feels inherently disrespected and misused. All right, so you make a great point, and I think you, you're picking up on something we talk about all the time, right, which is blue-collar America, working-class America. The, the class divide uh, now has made the Democratic Party the party of, of the elites, of, of the coasts and of, of uh, climate change and all of these sort of luxury limousine liberal issues that it didn't used to be. How does, what does Biden do now for 2024 if he can't follow the Clinton playbook? If Donald Trump does not become the issue, the singular one, for Joe Biden, it is likely that Donald Trump could win this campaign. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.